Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today uh, I just wanted to post a quick fix on the skill tree system that we have um, in, in regards to kind of saving um, the layout of our skill tree after you've acquired some abilities. So as someone pointed out to me, uh, if you press, you know, play, press T to open up your skill tree, um, you know, you can click these and get the abilities, but then when you close it and open it again, they aren't enabled. Okay, so that's a problem for us. Um, although we still have the abilities, right? So I have that increased jump. I can jump super high now with that increased jump ability. Um, but again, it's not showing up, so that is a problem. So let's look at fixing that. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, we need to open up our skill tree, uh, our UI skill tree, and go to the graph. And basically in here, we're going to you know add some kind of uh, functionality that will update our you know our, our skill tree when we construct it so off of this event construct and then we also need to tell our character which kind of skills we've acquired okay so to do that uh, we're gonna go out to our content browser and I'm gonna right click and create a new folder that we'll call skills and we'll open this up and then I'm gonna right click go to blueprints and create an enumeration and I'm gonna call this e skills um, or you could call it acquired skills or whatever um, but basically this enumeration is going to have a list of all the different skills that we can have. Um, there are certainly you know, other ways you can do this, but I'm just going to do it with an enumeration because um, it works fine. So uh, we'll add a bunch for all the different skills that we have. So you know, if we go look at our skill tree, right, we have this lightweight skill, increased jump, slide, you know, these health, and all these other ones. So we have nine total. So we'll go ahead and you know, do these. Um, so the first one, I'll just call it light, uh, lightweight, I guess. Oops. Um, that second one, increased jump. And then what was the last one? Slide. Okay, we can add that slide. Um, then we'll do the health. So we'll say improved health. Oops, that's not how you spell improved. Uh, improved health. Advanced health health and superior health and then um, we have these last couple this brutal force dead eye and wizard and these are just kind of dumb names I called some skills I mean you don't really have to have the same names of course they just it just has to uh, it's just the concept here that we're going for for kind of saving those so um, and this last one here is wizardry, I think I called it. Yeah, whatever, that'll be fine. So we have this enumeration of our skills now. So what we'll do is we'll go find our character. Okay, we'll click edit to open them. Okay, go to the event graph. Um, and actually, we're just going to add a new variable here. Okay, so I'll add a variable that we will call acquired skills. Okay, and we'll change its variable type to eSkills. Okay, and we'll take this now and we're going to move it to our attributes, um, you know, kind of section here. Okay, and then last thing we need to do is make it an array because um, we can have more than one skill. Right? So we'll make it an array, set it, and there we go. Next, what we need to do is go to our skill tree and we're going to do the same kind of thing. We're going to add um, a variable. Um, See, add a variable called um, acquired skill this time. So what we'll do next is we'll go to our UI skill tree here. All right, and in here we're going to find this event construct. And I'm actually going to delete this for right now, and we're going to add a new function, and we'll call this you know just update skill tree. Okay, and inside this function, what we're going to do is we want to get our character reference. Um, which, as you might recall, we uh, set right away on event construct. Okay, so we want to get that, and then we want to get the um, our character's acquired skills. Okay, and then we're going to run that three for each loop, and then for each element in the array, we're going to do a switch to check which um, you know which skill we have. Okay, so then depending on which skills we have, we will set whether or not these other buttons are enabled. Okay, um, so we'll do that in a sec. But then off of completed, we want to call that update 
um, skill points uh, function, which as you might remember, it's getting our player's skill points and then just updating. Okay, so go back here. And basically what we need to do is set the, uh, the next um, you know, skill in the line uh, to enabled. Okay, so if we look back in the event graph here, right, um, we see after we click our you know improved health, we set the advanced health to enabled, and then after we click our advanced health, we set the you know the superior health to enabled. So it just kind of goes like that down the line. So we'll do the same exact thing except in the update skill tree. Okay, so um, first, you know, I guess we'll look at the health ones. So what we'll do is we'll take our advanced health variable, we'll get it, and we'll say um, set is enabled. Okay, and you can hook this up. We'll set it to true. Okay, I'm just going to move it. Uh, then off of advanced health, you know, we'll also say set is enabled um, to true once again. But this time for the uh, where is it for the SH superior health button. Okay, now for the lightweight and increased jump, we'll need to do the same thing. So. Um, we'll take our IJ here, which is increased jump. We'll get it. We'll say set is enabled. Set it to true, of course. Plug it in to lightweight. Okay. And now for increased jump, we're just going to set the slide. Get that and say set is enabled. Okay. So now you can hook that up to increase jump. And there we go. Okay. So now if, you know, for any other types of skills that you have, you know, you're just going to keep setting the next one um, to enabled after it. Okay, so just a quick rundown of what this is doing, right? After we've clicked one, right, and we've acquired it, right? So we've acquired lightweight. It should make this enabled. So then when we close it and open again, it will again have make sure the increased jump is enabled. So it'll keep setting the next one enabled. Okay, so now last thing we need to do is just make sure that we add these acquired skills because um, right now we're not doing that. So what we'll do is we'll come over here and we'll get our character reference and we will um, drag it off and say get acquired oops get a ooh, I can't spell get acquired I'm pretty sure I'm spelling this wrong but whatever um, we'll say add unique yeah I'm totally spelling acquired wrong just whatever <laughs> um, so say add unique okay and we'll just duplicate that do it a couple times. Oh, I guess that's going to complain, so we have to do it manually. We'll say add unique once again, and say add unique one last time. So we'll plug these in. Alright, so we'll hook these up, and there we go. Now, all we need to do now is set each of these little values here to um, whatever skill that we've just acquired. So when we press the IH for improved we'll health, alright, sorry for that. Um, so, as I was saying, we'll take you know each of these little drop downs and we'll set the skill that we acquired. So for IH, right, improved health, we'll say we acquired the improved health. Then this is advanced health, is this next button, and then finally superior health. Okay, then we'll do the same thing down here for the movement skills. Okay, so we'll take this once again, copy paste, drag off, say add, add unique. Plug it in. Um, I'll just do all the add uniques really quick. And this last one, add. Oops, not add. Add unique. Make sure, yeah, make sure you're doing add unique. Okay. So plug this last one in. And it's not implemented, of course, but still have the functionality here. Okay. And then we'll just go ahead and set each of these. So lightweight, increase jump, and slide. Okay, and there you have it. So that should be all the setup that we need. Um, you could do the same down here, you know, for each of the melee damage rate, you know, for all these um, these other skills. But since they don't have anything after it, I'm not going to set it. You know, we don't have to worry about it. Um, so if we press play now, we're going to hit T. You see, here we go. Right here's our stuff. So now I, you know, add my skill points, whatever, and I close it. Now if I click T again, it should show up. And it didn't because I'm an idiot. Um, because we didn't plug it in. Uh, so let's go to the graph, go to the event construct, and we'll just call the update skill tree. Okay, and that will update everything for us. 
So now if we try it, press T, click these, close it, try it again, and now we're good to go, right? And we can still jump super high because we have our abilities and they're showing up. So there you have it. Uh, there's how to you know fix that up so that we no longer have any, uh, I guess, saving problems in that regard. Um, so I hope that helped you. Uh, if you liked the video, like or subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.